doing? Filming. Pictures of us? Yeah. Can I get your badge number? 0016. Cool. Is it shiny enough for you? It is very shiny, sir. All right. You need your driver's license, Mr. Fifth Amendment, right? You filming right now? I am. Oh, come. He's got the camera on. He's got the camera on me right now as we're talking. In a mid-August issue of the City Pages, Susan Dew compiled an article entitled, We Were Heroes, about the challenges of policing in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota, and featured four officers, two from the Minneapolis Police Department and two from St. Paul's. One of these officers, Lou Fierro, of the St. Paul Police Department, was featured on the cover of the publication. In the article, Miss Dew wrote about the achievements and challenges of Officer Fierro, but somehow forgot to mention his disturbing and violent past. In 2009, a former girlfriend of Officer Fierro, Officer Jessica E. Phillips, who is also a St. Paul police officer, filed an order of protection against him for multiple instances of domestic abuse, including that he had hit her and raped her, and that she feared for her life, which was granted. In April of 2010, Officer Fierro was arrested inside the St. Paul Police Department headquarters for violating that order by harassing Officer Phillips in person, by phone, and by other electronic communications. Officer Fierro received an unheard of 25-day suspension for his actions. The St. Paul Police Chief at the time, John Harrington, had this to say about Officer Fierro's conduct. The actions of Mr. Fierro appear to demonstrate a profound disregard for his oath of office, the law, and the expectations that the community has of its police officers. Officer Fierro also has an alarming eight complaints on his record, which should have been an obvious indicator of his character and inability to serve the community in a professional manner. The other St. Paul police officer covered in this article, Officer John Sherwood, has 11 on his. This makes me ask, why was Officer Fierro handpicked by the St. Paul Police Department to represent them and their officers in a metro area alternative newspaper read by tens of thousands of residents? And what does this say about the state of the St. Paul Police Department and their standards and values? An officer with a history of eight complaints, brutality, domestic violence, and rape has absolutely no business representing a police department or praised in acclamation on the cover of any journal.